Welcome, this is the Office 365 upgrade for Mac users. What we're going to do is basically start off by uninstalling Word, PowerPoint, and Excel of Office 2011. You're going to continue to use Outlook 2011 until the conversion has completed on the back end. So at this point, any of the icons that you see relating to Office 2011, you can drop them in the trash can. Go to Applications. Office 2011 and remove the programs Excel, PowerPoint, and Word. I do recommend going to the trash bin and emptying trash. There is possible items in the trash bin can prevent the installer package from opening up properly, in which case you would need to make uh, you would need to perform a reboot on your MacBook. We're going to do this without a reboot, but if you want to just to be sure you can go ahead and, and do a reboot right now as well. At this point we're going to go to the web portal for your Office 365. Go to login.microsoftonline.com For your user ID you're going to use your prime revenue email address. You will type in your Active Directory password, the one that works with your email for a network login, not, not the password that you use to log into the MacBook. Click Other Installs. And right here you'll see where you'll click Install for Office 2016 for Mac. You can close this demonstration page if you don't feel you need it. This is pretty straightforward. That's why we're doing the tutorial. So you can exit out of that. I've already downloaded the installer package to save us a couple of minutes. So I'm going to cancel out of it, but in this case you can leave everything default, click save, and it's going to bring this package down into the downloads folder. Close tutorial. Go to your downloads folder. You see the Office 2016 installer package. Double click. Continue, continue, agree. Pretty much just clicking on all the defaults. Enter your administrator's password for the MacBook to approve the software install. This package is going to pull down all the office applications including Outlook obviously 
you'll, like I said, continue to use 2011 Outlook until the uh, conversion is completed in the background over the next few days. So familiarize yourself with what the icon looks like. The 2011 Outlook is the gold O, and the 2016 Outlook is a, is a blue icon. You'll see that here shortly once we're finished with the, uh, the installation. Now that the installation is complete, let's go make sure all the applications work. Outlook 2011 still works, which means I can go and place shortcuts back in the quick launch bar. And this is really up to, up to you, it's your preference. And here's, here's the, uh, what the 2016 Outlook icon looks like blue with the white O envelope behind it. You're not using that yet. Once again, just continue to use the uh, the gold O for Microsoft Outlook 2011. The other items such as PowerPoint, Word, and Excel 
are good to go at this time. Just to make sure. It's verifying your license through the online portal and it should be active at this point. The online portal that you log into keeps track of all of your licenses up to five. So every time you activate one, it'll keep that running tally. And if you reach that tally, then you have to go back into your portal and deactivate any licenses you're not using. See if I can find that. There's your install status here. And here it shows Windows and a Mac install. So these are two, this counts as two against my five allotted. So if you find that you're not using one anymore, you come here, click deactivate, and that will remove the license validation for that particular install. And that concludes Office 365 2016 install for MacBook.